Welcome back guys. Today guys we're going to go over the H, but not mechanically. Um, I've had comments for a while on some of the older vi uh, older videos I've done on this tractor about how I... Uh, I've had guys kind of, I guess, chew me out how I need to paint it because it's just... If I don't paint it, it's just going to rest away and it's a shame that that poor tractor is going to sit there and rest away. And, and the other kind of comments I got about painting was how? How do I do a good job of painting? I mean, I understand that question. I have Dave, uh, Crazy D, Dave, my brother Dave, also known as Crazy D, and I have gone to auctions where you can see that they went to work instead of, of doing the proper work, all the, the detail work that goes into a good quality restoration. They just threw some primer over the rust and painted it and you can see every little grain of rust every all the imperfections from the rust and such and I I had so I was talking to dad about about those comments and he goes you know I have a uh, pretty substantial background in painting that I mean guys if you ever driving around out there and you go past the construction area where they're drilling a hole underneath like a highway and su or such and they're not using a ditch witch they're using something like a straight line machine my dad painted that thing um early if you happen to have an early heston swather my dad probably painted something on that or or prepped it so let me go find dad and we'll we'll get into where to start and, and doing a proper paint job on an old tractor like this. So Dad, I was telling the guys that you have some, some quite a bit of painting experience. You, I painted at Heston, I painted at Full Vision, the row, uh, Kubota, um, the row bars, row bars, tons and tons of those things, and cabs. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of so, stuff. So you was wanting to paint this thing. Yeah. I, and I was I, looking at it. And I tell you what, to do a super good job, we need to go and sneak this thing at, at, at midnight to the car wash and okay. wash okay. this thing with hot okay. water and knock all the grease yeah. and stuff off of it. I know there's it. some leaks I got to And you got six. some leaks on the other side that I know you got to take care yeah, of. And then you need to take this sand work off. Yeah. And then we need to sand. Too bad we don't have a sandblaster. We just right. sandblast it real quick. Well, we don't. So I recommend us go get some sandpaper and sandpaper everything about three or four times so it's smooth. I can tell them that I've seen restora restoration yes, jobs I have at, too. at farm sales where they just whack some. But you know, on it and that don't bug me as much as I see runs. Oh man, you want to get my dander up? Just show me somebody that did a sloppy job and left yeah, that right runs on there. There's no sense in it. There's no sense in having runs. Anyway, I take all this off. Yeah. I would take the wheels off and we put blocks under it, and then we can paint the whole body. And we should probably use a primer, a heavy good, I, I an auto pr primer. I get an I, auto primer. That's that's another thing I was I was looking at is is and I'm pretty sure you agree with me that when you do a restoration like this, go find high quality paint. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, do yeah, it right. So tell them the story about our, um, Howard's little D14. Oh. <laughs> so our friend of mine and Dave's, his name is Howard. He's an older gentleman. He collects tra he just collects tractors to be honest. And he went to an auction. He bought this tractor. They had to have the, they used Orsland's paint because they was they sent the extra paint with him, and he had nowhere to store it at the time inside. The tractor only sat outside for two months, and the two months it went from Persian orange to pink, and then now it's just white. So. That's that's my story. Yeah. Use high quality paint. The yeah. stuff from Orson just fine to touch up something or make or do like I did. I took a a, a dresser, an old metal dresser uh, uh, from like a nursing home or hospital dresser, and I used the 
international red and white to dress it up because it was an ugly a what robin egg blue i don't remember it was pretty Something ugly like that but so what wouldn't we do a walk around dad and you kind of i try to show him some of the things that well, you issues I, and such that you you found so well right in here yeah is all the oil and dirt and grease that's got to come off if you don't yeah. if you don't get it off then you it, it, or you don't get a good enough job to get all that grease enough you're going to have what i call fish eyes yeah now that's a, a little hole of your paint. You paint and you'll see a little hole, a little dot. Yeah. That's what we call fish eyes. Now if we don't, we got to make sure our temperature outside is right because we don't want this the orange peel. That's when it just looks like an orange peel. Yeah. And that, that just is as bad as a run in my eyes. So yeah, I guess if you want to so let, let me show you more than what I think we grab them here and we can show them the, the, what Yeah. See right in here, all this dirt. Yeah. And grease. Well, I gotta fix the bowl because it leaks. Okay, that's gonna have to be, and we might, you might want to. I'm thinking about just take, fully. Take that bulb off and just be, take the heck out of it. So the. Okay, and then over here on this other side, I noticed. Dad was talking about earlier all of this here. I don't think you can see all the grease and stuff up yeah, in there. Yeah, there's a lot of grease and dirt and stuff up in there. That that's needs all to be, gotta come off. You're gonna do it. You need to do the whole engine and everything. Yeah. Okay. Now, are we okay. good? That, I'm gonna, you want to take this? Trying to drill those screws out. Yeah, I'm gonna say you off. need to take this off. That's another thing. That, that's the thing that irritates me when I see restorations is they, they try paint right over top, top of it. Of it that makes me mad too. That's see, not, that's not can, how they rolled out. There's this fungus stuff that from yeah, this from this. That needs to be washed. The, Cold water almost get I that off. Them, what, barnacles is what they call them. Yeah, or it's a fungi that grows on metal and stuff you know that then you probably should take it and uh, see if we can't buff that and make that look shiny again yeah are you going to want to use this for parades and stuff or um, you... somewhat yeah so yeah we don't want to make it look good I mean, so, like and then we need I'm not, I am gonna get we the, need to take and I'm just, you can get take the kits it. to get the, the, the decals and yeah. stuff, and I'm just going to try to find them. We kind of really need to make a, uh, a uh, blueprint where all these stickers were, so we... That's another thing that irritates me when the guys do it. They do it, then they put the stickers in the wrong I, spot I do a little bit stuff. crooked. Yeah, they're crooked. What really bugs you yeah. is they, they don't put them on right, and there's a bubble in the middle of it. Oh, yes, that's another pet peeve. See all this dirt here on this engine? This has got to be worn. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's coming from. It needs to be. This thing here is going to be fun. It's all dirty underneath here. Yeah, that's that our air, air filter is going to have to be clean. This here, we'll just have to oh, take nice. some masking tape yeah. and put on that. But it's with this. I, I really, honestly, yeah. one of the reasons why I decided to go forward with doing the restoration, the head painter. And I think somebody took the time to put the put put the, the engine right. Yeah, it's, it has way better compression than. Oh, yeah, than, it sounds than awesome. It, sh it should than and it it melt had these tall weeds we had around here, and you was whacking them down. And I thought, oh my goodness, that thing is. She didn't really snort. Uh, it, it didn't need to snort. She was like, huh, give me more work. This is <laughs> you call this work? Boy, yeah, this is this is fun. So. But I tell you, Dan, I'm feeling this. Even though we sand this, I'm got a feeling we might have to go get a, a primer, an auto primer that is, yeah, is kind of like a, what oh, what the heck do they call it? But like, it's, it will fill in the the, in the, it, the, the little the, voids and stuff. Yeah. But, I, I know. And this thing is so straight. Yeah. I mean, there's not really any dents. No. In no it. it's, I've normally. <laughs> Sure I've seen these, the grills just all oh, man. snuckered up. You go to some of the farm sales and you wonder what the... And the thing, the funny thing is, the one thing that's missing, Dad, can you point to the this little shield at the bottom, right above the right this, the shield here? Yeah. That shield there, you, that oh, hand, not, they're missing. They're always, those are always missing. I have so. never seen one on, on one. I've seen them in boxes in the, on the farm sales, yeah. but I've never seen them on. Yeah, as well. Yeah, Dad, I think this, 
Yeah, I, I don't know what it's going to cost you to get it all painted. I, but. I, it's not going to be cheap because I'm going to get the, a very high quality paint. We need to find a, a nice warm shed and have it a winter project. Yeah, I know. I, so, so, yeah. Then the, I noticed on here on the back of this thing. Yeah. I was looking, and it, and again, Let me. again, it's gonna. Uh, were, there, were these painted red, or were these I'm a different not color? Sure what color? I have to. We'll have to do some research and see. Here's some more of that. Yeah. That's all that. There's some more, more of the that. barnacles. Huh? More, yeah, and then around here, we're going to have to get this yeah, I took super clean. Then the wheels, we'll have to. I don't know how. I'm not. I have the other rims and stuff, but we're still going to have to like yeah, sandblast or something. Yeah, else. that's going to have to be. It's going to. Be, it's not going to be an overnight no. paint job. That's, that's, for that's sure. kind of. But, oh, that's not too bad. That ain't going to be too bad. No. It's little, It's really rough. It's but I think. I think you take a uh, oh pretty heavy sandpaper and hit it off the first time, yeah. and then keep going down with your numbers until you got to get got it a real really shiny and get it pretty nice. You're probably not going to get it perfect, perfect, but no. if you get it perfect enough that so nobody can see it uh, falls, yeah, it, it's going to do great. So. so yeah, yeah, that's. I think that's. I think that's a very it's not going to be... So yeah, to paint this thing back to, to, to a color that it looks nice on it, it'd be, yeah. yeah. So, right. Dude, whatever you do, just don't paint it pink. Oh. Okay. I, I mean... I don't understand. Well, it, it's still kind of... I don't know the paint color really it shouldn't really matter that much. <coughs> no. You know, I know... But, K-State polling tractor that H they have painted K-State purple still well, triggers me. Well, yeah, yeah, that's okay. I don't mind that because it's a high, it's a college, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Even if it's on the FF8 guys, uh, kids uh, painted a tractor in school color, it doesn't bother me. But I just can't stand watching a pink tractor. I know it sounds women that. You know, they're a tractor, tractor and, it's, and I don't know, I guess, <coughs> I don't know, I guess maybe something an old man like me just has to get over. So, all right, get over it, you know, like, but yeah, Danny, I think you got, I think it's got potential. It, it would be nice to get it all painted. You're going to have to do the thing on the knees. You're going to have to really spread well, that in. What I might figured on to be the easiest way to do this. To paint this thing correctly, do you think it'd be easier? I know it's a lot of work otherwise, but would it be easier if you broke it broke into it. its individual pieces? Or well, yeah, well, the tin work you're going to, have to take all the tin work off. Yeah, I, I knew you'd have, have to take all that. the tin work off. And, and yeah, it would if you're going to if you want to break it down to parts. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of. I mean, this coin underneath, so you have to do under the for the belly pans and yeah. stuff. And, Finally, those leaks are suffering at it. We'll get that I, solved because I don't think it's not cheap, especially no, with the high quality. I don't paint. know. I wonder how many gallons of paint this thing is going to take. I'm not sure. That's that's you need. I, honestly, you might want to push the pencil a little bit and see how much it's really going to cost you. Yeah, that's that's the other that's the other part is is you yeah. got to figure in. Figure out what you can afford to do. Yeah. So this is, uh, guys. It brings me to that. This is probably not a project that's going to be. Good. It'll be a few videos. It's between, probably going to be a few for a few vi videos, maybe in a, a year or two. May, maybe even. Well, I don't know about a year or two. I like to get on it here at least by spring and. Well, if you get it. Such, but some of it, if you but get it's a little bit warmer and the paint will dry because that there's there's quite a bit of. Yeah, well, there's, there's an art to getting the the uh, paint mixed right and well, such. Well, some for of that auto primer, for some reason, you gotta let it set out in the sun and bake for some reason. I don't understand that because all the painting I ever did, when we primed it, we most time was in the primer was in the paint. Yeah, and when I mixed 
or I, more what I worried about is if I was gonna if the, how much humidity was in the air if it was uh, a real nice. wet day we put a lot of uh, a heater a heater in it in the in the paint and it was a real uh, dry day we did the opposite yeah you know we just kept well, and then in the winter time you, you, in the winter time it was not too bad because when it was cold it was mostly dry but yeah, yeah it was a human well, it was snowy like a, a it was a wet snowy day yeah we had to put a heater in it or, or in the cold a real cold day didn't mm -hmm. you had some accelerant to dry, yeah, dry a little quicker or, yeah of course, so. some of the places we had of course we had a big old heaters they went through and there's places I painted that we had I had parts screwed all over the place trying to get the heat of the building to dry that stuff so but, so yeah I think it'd be it's it's well it's worth it this thing is really a straight I, it's it's like the one of the biggest like I keep saying it's the biggest reason why I decided on 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 maybe do go ahead and do do that because I have not I've not met very many H's that are no as straight as this thing so I, I swear to saying either the guy took super good care of her or she had a pretty pretty easy, easy life. life yeah I think all she did was belt work or something because the transmission's pretty tight as well yeah well you know, Unlike the bucketed H, where you, you put it in second gear and mm. your your poo hole crawled out your ears. Yeah, there's some. Because it made a horrid racket. Some of those things, you tractors, you guys bring home. If it was me, the would price of scrap, scrap yeah, metal was they, high. Haul well, them off. I know. Unfortunately, I know. that was the the best thing for that that H. It was just yeah, it it, was the gone. transmission was gone. Yeah, it was gone. It, it, the only the only gear in that transmission that didn't make noise was road gear. Well, the motor was even sound like it, well, was, it was. It was super over it hard. Was, it was. It was. It needed a, a, a full rebuild. Well, let's face it. That tractor we're thinking or what we're talking about, it was one of those tractors somebody worked hard and put down and put up wet, yeah, wet. and didn't yeah. they, they probably well, didn't even let it they probably just turned it off and walked off when they were done and not even let the engine run a little bit and cool off, off. I mean and that's, that's hard on that on anything you don't all, even scoop and poop is a little hard is hard work yeah on you and the you and the equipment yeah so alrighty well, okay well yeah go for it if you need right. help I'll help you out I'll Show you what way you need to go. Well, I was hoping it. that you'd help with it, Dad, because <laughs> I want I need your I want it to look good when I'm done. Oh it will. It will. Okay. Alrighty. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye. So guys, I hope you found that information useful. Um if you're looking into doing a doing a, a project like that you having a tractor you've, re you've rebuilt and such and you were like how do i go towards painting it well i hope this was the video helped you out quite a bit and um so guys i guess we're at that point where i say if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you feel it's worth sharing please do um you've not subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button and right beside it there's a little bell and you go hit, smash that little bell because it lets you know when the next video comes out and like always, guys, see you next time. Bye.